With a holiday menu that breaks with tradition but is certain to be a crowd pleaser is celebrity chef David Burke. He owns Tavern 62 by David Burke on the Upper East Side and BLT Prime by David Burke in D.C. Welcome. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you for being back. This looks yeah. amazing. It smells delicious. Yeah, we got a lot of nice stuff. What we're trying to uh, convey is that, uh, the idea of doing festive holiday parties with untraditional, perhaps, garnishes. Mm -hmm. and, and this uh, looks fancy, but you're saying you can make it at home. Well, you know, we're going to start with couscous. It's tomato couscous. Couscous gets overlooked a lot in, uh, in, in the way, at least in my table, in mm -hmm. my home. So, and it's very easy, and it's, it's a grain, mm -hmm. and it's semolina, and you buy it just like this. And it's so simple. I put together a little broth here, tomato, canned tomato uh, juice, and oh. chicken broth. You pour it over. Basically, that's how you cook it. And you let it sit. You just let it sit, and it'll absorb this liquid. So the flavor of your liquid is what's going to flavor this. It's kind of like making a polenta. So we'll let that sit. And how long do you I do that for? Bit. This will sit for three or four minutes. It's done. And then it's done. Yeah. Now, I also, gonna, I also add tomatoes, almonds. Salt, pepper, chives, and this is sun dried tomatoes and olives. Mm. So now that's what's on this plate here. Okay, now this, I, I melted mm -hmm. a little butter in olive oil, mm -hmm. and you know what? It's kind of healthy. You know, you can keep the butter out and just go olive oil, salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. and look at this, is basically ready now. Wow, it's, it is great. It's like uh, almost like cream of wheat. <laughs> Now the rack. The, the, this is, includes the rack of lamb and the. Now octopus. the rack of lamb. We of the did. Couscous. How do you do this? Now we 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 took this piece of beautiful octopus. Mm. I don't, I don't know. think I've ever seen it. I don't know like if it's that. beautiful. <laughs> to a chef, it's beautiful. But yes, it's a good piece of octopus. That gets poached right in that liquid, or just grilled, or any way you like. Any mm -hmm. recipe that you can find on the internet, um, we'll do. And I actually the, the recipes are on the uh, on the website. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Um, do you need a knife? I lost my knife. Okay, yeah. let's find it. <laughs> so, uh, so oh, what we did here is we cut the lamb chops. Uh -huh. We cut the uh, we cut the lamb chops into chops. Put it on the plate. Now, how do you prepare lamb? How do you this? Like I just to all I did was saute chops. that in a pan like you would a steak. Okay. Uh, and I finish it in the oven. Now you can also take that lamb and poach it in that same uh, tomato broth mm -hmm. and then brown it. And what I love is you were saying, I mean, this is your ideas, but you can just kind of incorporate here and there whatever looks doable as well, far whatever as whatever. Whatever you put in your turkey mm -hmm. stuffing, you can put in that couscous. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It, it's very much up to you, and no one's mm -hmm. going to judge you that it's not classic couscous. But right. they usually use uh, and lemon zest, and you know a little bit of this on on top of your right. lamb. You it know, try to good. add. Uh, hey, listen, there's also. The idea that you can take some of this stuff. Oh my God! Oh, and it, have some fun with it. This is this is red and green. Just crystals, but it's yeah, fun. like little so, sugar crystals. So here is this is how we serve our bread at Tavern okay. 62. It's cornbread, jam with peppers and, and cranberry for uh -huh. the holidays. We serve butter on pink Himalayan salt, which we have we dry, dry age our beef with. Uh, this is our number one selling Peking style pork shank. Now that could be take your ham, your holiday ham, and do fried rice and uh, little baby pancakes or crepes. Wait, this is a Peking pork shank. Yeah. Is what they we're looking at. Oh, I like that. Well, eggs, fried rice, and shrimp in it, and little bits of ham. Okay. And you know we make crepes, but you can you can make baby pancakes, so you can you can eat uh -huh. even your turkey done this way. All right. And then this is onion soup. Could also act as a pot pie. Has a little pastry mm -hmm. lid and a salad. Mm -hmm. uh, our number one selling. Um, Black pepper, maple, bacon. You told uh -huh. us that you brought scissors and we could try it. Do you want a piece yeah. of that? Yeah, you, got a, you can actually you. get a haircut too. You. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then we have the waffle cake, mm. which is uh, made with gingerbread, chocolate, oh and uh, chocolate coated Cheerios. Mm -hmm. This bacon is delicious. Let me ask you for people who are, what are some things to keep in mind when you're entertaining around the holidays? You want to get stuff done ahead of time. Mm. Right. So it's easy to serve, things that you can, you know, couscous, fried rice, you can make in batches and serve. Mm. Try to stay ahead um, and you know and roast things and also th um, the, 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 you know get organized you can cook things way ahead and slowly reheat and that's okay so it doesn't have don't worry about the timing mm -hmm. of everything. Look who has dinner, the knife, John Marshall. Marshall. Okay. Dinnerware and some silverware. Oh, you, you, you got to, a knife. To, I just want to tell folks you can find knife. all these recipes and more in David Burke's, David Burke's cookbooks on our website at CBS New York. Thank you very much. I'm the octopus, but I got to take a look at the forecast real quick. If yeah. you cut me a piece, I would love to try it. You got it. Here it is. All right. All right.